Hi, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in and viewing today. Thank you for coming in to hear what we have to say about the Holy Scriptures, about the things of God. Thank you. It is never taken for granted. Always appreciate it. If you have not hit the subscribe button yet and subscribe to this channel, please do. God bless you. I want to uh, talk about a scripture today, a passage of scripture actually in the Bible. So one of the big questions today is, and a lot of people are saying, what in the world is going on in the world? A lot of these things that's going on in the world has been going on actually for a very long time. Uh, so a lot of these things are not new. And so a lot of people are asking the question, what in the world is going on in the world today? And um, this is not something that can actually answer you know, be answered in a YouTube video that's only going to be about 10 to 15 minutes at the very most. A message like this to deal with this particular subject, you're talking about this is a message that's preached from a pulpit over a matter of weeks, you know, done in a series. Actually, my husband is, is discussing a lot of these things and actually breaking them down in detail. He's going into deep detail and giving uh, examples. He's doing an excellent job of talking about these very things about, you know, what's occurring in our world today. And I just want to uh, look at a scripture passage that's in Luke chapter 21 that, that answers and speaks to, you know, uh, what the heck is happening in our world today? What is going on in the world today? And Luke chapter 21 speaks to a lot of that. And again, uh, just this few minutes that we have together does not do justice in answering that question. That's a big question that deserves a big, full, detailed, expounded answer. But I just wanted to touch on something briefly in Luke chapter 21, because Luke chapter 21 deals with the question of signs and persecution. It deals with, uh, the, uh, the passage about the coming of the son of man, the lesson of the fig tree and exhortation to watch. And so, you know, in, in, uh, uh, Luke chapter 21 and verse seven, they ask him talking about the disciples. I'm going to start reading Luke 21 verse se uh, seven. And again, this is just as a brief video. So, you know, this is a small answer to a great big old question that lots of pastors all over the world, in lots of pulpits and Bible studies and seminars are answering this question. Uh, but in a few minutes we have together, Luke chapter 21, verse 7, this is about the signs and persecutions. They ask him, teacher, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when this is about to happen? Now, what they're saying, what they're asking Jesus, Jesus had uh, talked to his disciples about the destruction of the temple of Jerusalem. He was foretelling, uh, just a minute. I'm sorry. Someone was at my door. Um, so, okay. So Jesus was, uh, foretelling the destruction of the temple of Jerusalem and how that, you know, there would not be one stone left unturned. And so in turn, the, uh, disciples asked him, teacher, when will these things be? And what will be the sign when this is about to happen? And Jesus said, beware, lest you be deceived. For many will come in my name saying, I am he and the time has drawn near. Therefore, do not go after them. When you hear of wars and commotions, do not be afraid. Let me back up. Jesus said, they said, Jesus, what's the sign? What's the signs of this happening? And Jesus said, here, here are some of the signs. He said, uh, therefore, do not go out. I'm sorry. Let me back up. Beware lest you be deceived. For many will come in my name saying, I am he. And the time has drawn near. Therefore, do not go after them. When you hear of wars and commotions, do not be afraid. For these things must first take place, but the end will not be at hand. What did Jesus say? When you hear of these things, don't be afraid. These things must take place. That's what I'm talking about today. That's what I want to express 
in this video today, because in this video, I don't have time in this short period of time, as I expressed that, you know, to go through the full details, but I want us to pay attention to Jesus's words because Jesus's words bring, brings us comfort, brings us understanding of what the world is happening in the world today. His words make us to know, make us to understand, uh, uh, comforts us and bring us peace. And he said, these things that you see happening, they must take place, but the end will not be at hand. Then he said to them, nation will, or it will happen. He said, oh, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdoms. Great earthquakes will occur. This is the signs. This is the signs of the nearing of the end. He said, but the end is not yet. It's not yet. It, it's, it, it's, 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 it won't be exactly just now, but you'll see these things near that time. These are some of the signs. Nation will rise against nation. What in the world is going on in our world? Jesus is telling us. Oh, nations will rise against nation and kingdoms will come against kingdoms. Great earthquake, earthquakes will occur in various places. And there will be, Jesus said. Jesus said, and there will be famine and pestilence. And there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. But listen to what he says. Listen to what he says. I want us to jump over to uh go over to verse um i want to go to verse 23 i'm not going to read all of that because again we have a small amount of time he says verse 23 but woe to the uh verse 24 i want to jump down to verse 24 now he already told us these things must be he said these things must be these things must happen you will hear of these things now i'm dropping down to verse 24 said uh do I want verse 24? No, I want to jump down to verse 25. I'm sorry. I want to talk about verse 25. There, he, Jesus says, listen, this is what's going to happen. There will be signs in the heaven and the moon and the stars and on the earth. And on the earth, that's where we live at. That's where we are. That's the planet we live on. Listen to his precise words. And on the earth, he says, there will be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. And on the earth, distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. You and I are seeing these things. This is happening right before our very eyes. Can you believe it? Can you believe that we're actually living this out, walking this out every day? We're actually seeing these things happening. Our media is full of it. So many reports of the very things that Jesus is talking about. And he says, the seas and the waves roaring. Now listen to what Jesus said, verse 26 of Luke 21. He said, men fainting from fear and expectation of what is coming on the inhabited earth. He said, men's hearts shall fail for fear. That's the King James Version. Men's hearts shall fail for fear. Why? He says why? He says, for fear and expectation of what's coming on the inhabited earth. Earth is inhabited by us, people. He says, and let me read that out of a different translation, uh, translation out, of the, out of the contemporary English version. It says, people will be so frightened. That's verse 26. People will be so frightened that they will faint because of what is happening to the world. Every power in the sky will be shaken. That's Jesus' words. I'm going to read it out of the Amplified, Amplified Version. Luke chapter 21, verse 26, out of the Amplified Version, says people 
fainting for fear and expectation of the dreadful things coming on the world for the very powers of the heavens will be shaken. Amen. Listen to what Jesus is saying to us. He wants us to understand these things through the lens of the scriptures. What we see happening in the world today, Jesus is explaining this and laying it out and expounding on it and giving great detail because we, his people, his disciples, he wants us to understand what the heck is happening in the world through the lenses of the scriptures. He wants to make sure that we, his followers, have a good grip and a good grasp of what's going on, of what's happening, making sure we're walking in the truth and not following a lie. You know, we don't have to follow uh, uh, conspiracies. You know, we don't have to follow uh, half-truths. We don't have to follow just what somebody else is telling us, their opinions and their commentary about what's happening on the earth. We have Jesus' very words about what we're seeing happening in our world today. He lays it out very clearly for us. He says some of these things are so, going to be so dreadful that men are going to faint. They're going to be so in fear. They're going to be so devastated by this, what's happening and what's occurring, that they will just faint from the fear of it, but just, just so dreadful, the dreadful things that are happening. In verse 27, he said, then they will see. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Verse 28, then these things, then when these things begin to happen, look up. And lift up your heads, for your redemption is drawing near. Hallelujah. Jesus wants us to understand. We don't have to believe words, the words coming out of men's mouths, the media, uh, uh, our government. We have it right here in the scriptures. From the mouth of Jesus. What's happening on the earth? He foretold all these things. He's the greatest prophet in the world. There's no prophet greater than Jesus. No prophet like Jesus. And the one of the most and one of the most glorious things he said. Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And Jesus said, when these things begin to happen. Look up and lift up your head for your redemption is drawing near. Hallelujah. Glory be to the king. Glory be to the greatest prophet that ever lived. He foretold us that this time was coming. God bless you today.